So, um, I had just posted a bunch of, you know, on Facebook, you can put your, like, your daily story. We're going to be, like, little small video clips. Or a lot of times people put a meme up, you know, just a fixed still picture. So, I put a bunch of those things up, and they were all COVID-related. Mostly about masks and about, um, well, anyway, that was the kind of thing. It was, And then um, I went on to my Instagram, and I started scrolling down on my Instagram. And, uh, no, it was Facebook. It was Facebook. And it was an Eckerd Toll quote. And Eckerd Toll basically saying, Nothing you complain about does any good. So then I just thought about the things that I would just put up about how stupid COVID is. COVID masks. And how people are brainwashed by the television and the people who... Um, run the mainstream news on television, which basically is the narrative of what's real. What's real for the government of Earth is what is reported on mainstream news, which may include government official news. In the olden days when Russia was communist, it was called the Soviet Union. It was a dictatorship and they had state media. That's what they called the media, state media. media. And so it had to be approved officially by the president of the USSR or the general secretary of the Communist Party of the United States. Soviet Socialist Republic, USSR. And sometimes this was reported by Western News, which was, you know, government news, like the government of Canada had government of Canada news invented because um, Canada was a far smaller country than its neighbor, the USA. And the USA had all kinds of plans to develop television. So what would happen was the government would give you a license to broadcast over the public airwaves, which was how you got the radio signal. You know, if I had a radio in my hand, a transistor radio or something, um, you know, they would have an antenna and the distance between the antenna and my radio was called um, public airwaves. And it was felt that the government should regulate uh, people who broadcast. So anyway, we're going to... Um, where are we going? I've got multiple lines of story for you here. We're talking about these things, and, you know, I can go in a lot of different directions. And in linear time, because this is a linear video, in linear time, uh, it could take a while before you get to some place where you're interested in what I'm talking about. And there's a lot of other stuff that's like filler that might be interesting for someone else, or it's going to be just in the library, because sometime in the future, somebody's going to want to hear that exact thing that I said. But I don't want to hear what he's going to say right now. I want to sort of fast forward on this linear machine uh, and skip to see if there's something that I am more interested in. Is that it? Are we done? Okay, so uh, we're going to switch gears here and talk about something completely different. And that is... Um, 
No, no, no. Imp be imp. Imp be imp was um, given to me by uh, Rumpelstiltskin, my associate. Rumpelstiltskin um, told me imp be imp out of the blue in the middle of a conversation about whatever was going on. Out of the blue, first time ever out of the mouth of Rumpelstiltskin, I heard imp be imp. It would be like you saying cat be cat. The qualities of the cat are make are what makes the cat the cat. Cat qualities. And let's talk about a common domestic house cat. Unless it's a hairless cat, a cat is going to have cat fur. And, you know, in biology class you can see a picture of a cat skeleton. These are cat qualities. So imp be imp is, why did he use imp be imp? Because Rumpelstiltskin lives in a mythical mind map. And yes, there are cats where Rumpelstiltskin lives, but there are also imps. And an imp would be like What's your idea of an imp, I-M-P? What does that mean to you? What imp qualities do you know? Maybe you never heard the word imp before, or you did. You'd be like me. It's like, I've heard the word imp before, but I don't have really a good database of information about what exactly an imp is. Anyway, Imp be imp simply means that an imp has imp-like qualities, just like a cat has cat-like qualities. Imp be imp. And it was a new way of expressing it. And, you know, it was also used as like scorpion be scorpion. So an example in a sentence would be, I don't have a really good example of what an imp is right in front of me right now that I could take a video of. Because this is not an imp body, this is a, a human body. And, you know, looking around here, there's no imps. Sorry folks, there's no imps here. So, you know, I have to, they always said, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I didn't have a good picture. Oh, I could say, um, I have a picture of an imp. Yes, I do. Okay. On this hat, there is Okay, imagine that this is one of those psychedelic cactuses that sometimes um, people eat. There was a story by Carlos Castaneda in one of his Don Juan books, Don Juan Matus books. And uh, maybe it was some something related. And it was something about eating these psychedelic um, cactuses. And then 
having the experience where all the people, you know, when you walked around using your eyes, all of the people had a sort of cactus look to them. The people, instead of having like a traditional human picture, somehow if you put like cactus spines coming out of my face, and maybe I'm, I turn a little bit green, the cactus color, then I would be known as uh, Carlos Castaneda's books, you would be known as Mescalito, which is the spirit of this cactus appearing to you as a, like a cactus um, blended person, a chimera, they call it in biology, a mixture of two different species, a human and a cactus, a mescalito. Mezcal is a booze made with mezcal plant, which might be an agave cactus. Imp be imp.